suppose we have a problem where we have to find out the limit of a function or I mean uh, let me write the question here you have to show that limit x tends to 2 I have the function here as x square minus 3x plus 5 equals 3 now as I have done all other limit problem the first work I have to do is to assign this function with a name that is suppose fx that means let the function fx equals x square minus 3x plus 5 okay now see I have to show this left hand side equals to the right hand side now I have to break down this I have to start with this left hand side and break down it in such a way that I come down to this answer which is equals to 3 and in this particular problem we don't have to use this fx term anymore but we know that the function which is given inside it is a function of x so we can write it as fx then I do I start my left hand side that is limit x tends to 2 I have x square minus 3x plus 5 this equals to what I get is I can break each of the term with their limit I mean I can write limit of the first term minus limit of the second term plus limit of the third term that is I can write limit x tends to 2 x square minus limit x tends to 2 3x plus limit x tends to 2 5 now this breaking up thing comes from the fundamental limit theorem in the fundamental limit theorem if I have limit of say suppose one is uh, fx and another term is phi x okay I mean up, suppose you have limit of fx plus phi x that can be written equal to limit of fx plus limit of phi x that means I can distribute those terms with limit now what is limit of x square this also comes from the uh, fundamental limit theorem I mean it has a particular rule how I how I can uh, break break it down so So when I have limit of uh, x square, I can write it as limit of x into limit of x minus 3 and into limit of x plus 5. that means that means I write here this is equal to limit of a limit of limit x tends to 2 x into limit x tends to 2 
x minus 3 into limit x tends to 2 x plus 5. This we get from the fundamental theorem which says uh, limit if I have a, a function I mean if I have a limit of uh, fx into phi x I can write it as limit of fx into limit of phi x right then the next step is since limit of x and x tends to 2 so I get this value of 2 in place of x so I get 2 here into here see you if you replace 2 in place of x you get limit of 2 minus 3 that means you can write it here as 2 minus 3 in bracket and then you have the other term x equals to 2 here so you get 2 plus 5 it comes to as 2 into 2 minus 3 is minus 1 into 2 plus 5 is 7 so you get 7 to the 14 and you have a minus sign in front sorry I I think uh, there will be some let me do it again to make it more clear let's go back to this um, this line first okay we got limit of x into limit of x minus 3 into limit of x plus 5 right now I put back this value of x tends to 2 in place of x so I get equals to 2 here into I get x minus 3 I place 2 minus 3 and then I get if I place 2 in place of x here I get 2 plus 5 that means I have multiplication sign between 2 and 2 so I get first 2 to the 4 minus 3 into 2 is 3 to the 6 plus 5 so then I get 4 plus 5 9 9 minus 6 equals to 3 so this was my left hand side LHS and this is my RHS so I got LHS equals to RHS and this has been showed so proved and also you remember that all these steps we have done this comes from the fundamental limit theorem which allows me to write this limit of this form as Distrib distributive form that means I can separate them separate each of the terms this way and from this step I can write this x 
limit of x into limit of x minus 3 into limit of x plus x plus 5 this also comes from the fundamental limit theorem which is um, suppose if you have a limit of f of uh, x plus phi x that will be equal to limit fx plus limit phi x and if you have limit of uh, fx minus phi x that will be limit of fx minus limit of phi x so from those values those theorem I can write this statement and from that if we put back these values I mean replace the x values in here I get 3 which is my right hand side and that shows the relation of this problem.